you know, the first duty of a government to secure our borders and to protect national security if we didn't seek out the most innovative and creative solutions to this problem. That's what this bill seeks to do in a very legal and fair and moral way. I am just so tired of this government believing it can just get away with barefaced lying to the public like this. Its bill is not legal, it's not fair and it's not moral. The immigration minister knows it, the government knows it, the BBC know it, even Larry the Cat knows it. The Home Secretary even inserted this on the face of the bill. I am unable to make a statement that, in my view, the provisions of the Illegal Migration Bill are compatible with the Convention rights, but the government nevertheless wishes the House to proceed with the bill. So the Home Secretary actually admits on the face of the bill that she's unable to assert the new law is compatible with Convention rights. Now listen to Barrister and King's Counsel Chris Dore. It's completely unlawful in international law, and I can break it down for you in very straightforward terms. Um, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was passed in 1948. Uh, after the Second World War, it specifically provides that nations must allow uh, refugees uh, or, or asylum seekers to apply for asylum. Uh, that was followed up by the 1951 uh, UN Convention on Refugees, which specifically states the following. Uh, asylum seekers are not required to apply in the first country uh, that they uh, reach. Uh, they are entitled to apply in any country, which is a signatory to the Convention, uh, and they are not required to arrive in that country by, uh, by lawful or regular means. There is specific provision that uh, asylum seekers are entitled to arrive by irregular means without documentation because if you use any form of common sense you'll realize that any genuine refugee is unlikely to have a proper documentation uh, and therefore it's highly improbable that they will have any lawful route to apply uh, to arrive in a country and then apply for asylum uh, they are uh, as i say uh, are governed by also we're governed by the european convention of human rights which provides that anybody in the united kingdom uh, is protected by due process of law cannot be imprisoned without a fair trial or any legal process and I'm afraid this legislation breaks every single one of those fundamental pieces of human rights legislation, international law. Yet still the Home Secretary has been hopping from one news show to another all week telling the public this. As a barrister, are you completely comfortable with breaking the law? We're not breaking the law, Kay. Uh, uh, we are very confident that our measures that we've announced yesterday are in compliance with our international law obligations. It's just complete bollocks and she knows it. Here's more from King's Counsel Chris Dore. To answer your very straightforward question, is there any doubt about the legal position such that the Home Secretary could legitimately claim that there's a possible interpretation that this is lawful? The answer is no, and I'll tell you why. Because the bill itself, at the top of the bill, says the Home Secretary cannot um, uh, assert as a matter of law that this act is compliant with the European Convention on Human Rights. That's written at the very top of the legislation. There's no mention of the, um, Euro Euro the United Nations Convention on Refugees because there's no requirement to require to include a mention of that in UK legislation. And that's why it's not there. But, but the, the UN itself, so the UNHCR, which enforces the UN Convention on Human Rights, sorry, on, on refugees, has said and has issued a statement just yesterday saying this legislation breaches the UN Convention on refugees is a fundamental breach of the United Kingdom's obligations in international law and is something that should be is extremely dangerous and should not happen. Chris, I There's that. no legal doubt in any lawyer's mind at all that this is unlawful. It appears the bill is aptly named the Illegal Migration Bill. The UN Refugee Agency has said this week that deporting asylum seekers without considering their claims amounts to a clear breach of international law. Now listen again to what the Home Secretary says. No government representative has said that we're breaking the law. It's an absolute disgrace. We, the United Kingdom, will become an international human rights pariah if this legislation passes, comes into force and is enacted in the way that it is. There is absolutely nothing about 50-50. There's no 50-50 about this. It is 100% certain that this legislation breaches the U U European Convention on Human Rights and perhaps more importantly, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. We're going to breach that knowingly in this country. It's a disgrace and the government knows it's unlawful and they know, frankly, it's the only way they're going to get votes at the next election. 